So is to figure out what careers interest you. And from there, we can design your budgets and other things in personal finance. So after you enter your name, you can click the drop down menu to pick a different career to analyze. There's only one career in there right now because that's where we're starting. And that career is city planner. Now, we are going to analyze this using the US Bureau of Labor of Statistics. Now, sometimes the title of the career that we're analyzing on Khan Academy might not be the, exactly the same on the BLS site, and that's fine. Um, I will always give a hint or direction, I should say, as to what another name for that career is. So for a city planner, another name, if you go to the letter U, we see that there's urbanal and regional planners. Uh, urbanal. <laughs> Urban and regional planners. If we click that, we'll see all the stats that we need. Now the stats that we're mostly interested in here are in the summary. We can look at other detailed tabs later in the year once we narrow down some of the careers that you're thinking of. And here you've got all the information you need to fill out this form. For example, it asks, what is the median pay per year? Well, that's right here. Median pay, 74350 per year. And the next question, what is it per hour, right? So per hour, you can see it right here, 3575 per hour. Then we scroll down. What is the typical entry-level education? What education do you typically need to be involved in that career? Well, it says it right here. You need a master's degree. Right? What is what on the job training is required? So when you get there, when you start the job, what kind of training is needed? Let's see what it says. On the job training, none. So of course they're going to teach you things when you're on the job, but there's nothing specific that's done uh, in a general sense for all urban and regional planners. How many people have this job? Number of jobs, 2019, 39,700. There it is, right? 39,700. What is the job outlook between 2019 and 2029? Just give the percent for this part. Okay, so the job outlook is 11%. So it's going to grow by 11% over the next 10 years. What is the job outlook between... You can leave the percent sign out of it here. What is the job outlook between 2019 and 2029? Include the text next to the percent on the job outlook line. So it says here, much faster than average. I'm just going to select that and copy it and paste it. So it's growing much faster than average, which means uh, there should be jobs available, right? It's an expanding market. What is the projected employment change through 2029? Here's the employment change. So that means, right, what they're saying right now is that they're going to add 4,400 jobs. And if we do 4,400 divided by uh, 39,700, right, you see about 11% growth. That's where the 0.11 comes from. So here, we can enter that in. And then do you see yourself pursuing the career? That's just saying after you've listened to interviews about this career, you've looked at some of the data on it, how do you see yourself doing it? It's like definitely or certainly or no, never, or maybe you're somewhere more in the middle. Six would be leaning like kind of neutral, leaning more towards certainly, and five is on the other side of that. Here at the end, give yourself some notes. Why did you not like it or why did you like it? The more you write, the better, because you'll be giving yourself information at, later in the year when we wrap this project up. All right, I hope this helped.